welcome back um today i have a video inspired by coloring with Kay. she did this video and i thought this was really cool um so i wanted to try it and i will go ahead and leave her youtube channel linked down below in the description box of this video so you can go ahead and see her original video um i didn't buy that many coloring books in this year so it was very hard for me to pick which ones but i do have my top 10 here um starting with 10 and then going all the way down to one when is at the bottom so yeah let's go ahead and get started um this first one i have is coloring book cafe this is number 10 i have not colored in this book this is autumn scenes i bought this when i was looking for some fun autumn pages and i just never got around to coloring this book i thought this had some really fun fall pages in here with some pumpkins and some fall decorations of the turkey so yeah this is one that i'm most definitely going to have to pick up next year um and then this just shows you like a couple of images throughout the books that I, I haven't done so there's that and then I have stained glass Christmas from such and such diva this is the color by number this is number nine on my list just because I figured since it's only during Christmas time I won't be able to color it um, all year round so I figured this would be my number nine spot and I can show you guys the one that I've been working on that for some reason I still have not yet to complete. Um, but they, it, there's some beautiful pages in here. I really like how there are some detailed pages and then not so detailed pages. Let me flip through it. There we go. This is the page that I'm working on. I'm doing the outline and marker and then coloring it in with my testicles. So that's the only page that I've started working on in this book. But there's that, the stained glass Christmas by such and such diva. Next in my eighth place, I have a gardens coloring book adventure through a pastime favorite from Benden. And I have done quite a few pages in here. Um, this book is very fun. I figured it would be all year round kind of book. So I did get this book at the beginning of January. So um, I don't have the dates of when I got these books. I just know that I did get them sometime this year. So yeah, the squirrel page. I never finished this. Oh my gosh. And well, I have a with them. A work in progress that I need to finish so I'm gonna have to set this book aside and start working on that here is a fun frog page with a very bright pink background I did a lot of these pages with oh hoo hoo markers see there's another one that I did very fun these pages just come out so fun and pretty this was done with I believe super tips and um, jelly roll metallics so. and then there's this one this was done as well this was done with the hoo hoo markers and the jelly rolls so I haven't completed a lot in here and then I also have a whip in here that I've had for a long time so there's no Christmas pages in here because I was looking through, I was like, hmm, I wonder. And there isn't any, so there's that. And then I have 50 Autumn Miniatures by Camelia Angelkova. Um, I really like Camelia Angelkova's books. And I really like the Autumn one. This is seventh place this year. There is some fun pages. I can flip through and see if I can find any of the ones that I've done. 
pretty sure I have done some pages in here. If I can find them. This one, my husband started this one. That was so cute. Oh, I did do this one. So here's one. There is a stickles on the sunflowers. And this is done with Prismacolors. Let's see, there is also this one, again, done with Prismacolors and stickles on the Happy, Happy Halloween. And then there's this Hello Autumn. There's this beautiful corn one. But I feel like I've had this book forever. Okay, yeah, I need to do some more in here, guys. Okay. This is cute and creepy um, pomp manga coloring book by Camila de Ergo. This one is so stinking cute. This is in my number six spot. I do have some fun ones in here that I have completed. I did get this book, I want to say maybe August or September. There's this one that I did. It is done with Prismacolored pencils as well as the Jelly Roll Metallic. I really like the way her skin and the blush on her cheeks came out. Um, I'm not really used to coloring people, so this was very different for me. I wanted to do her kind of like inspired by Tinkerbell, so that's why she's in green and her hair is blonde. So I just thought this was a really fun page to color. I do have more in here, and I do have like some pages I want to do because there are some Valentine pages that I thought would be cute. Um... This one, my son loves this one. I did this with Prismacolors and the pumpkin is outlined with super tips and then colored in with Prismacolors. So I thought this was really fun. I did this in October. Where is the page that I want to do for Valentine's Day? These guys are cute too. Oh, my books keep falling off the pile. So maybe let me set these other books to the side so I'm not reviewing everything. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> okay. I think that was one that I wanted to do. There's another one that I thought I wanted to do in... This is one that I finished in September after I had gotten the book. This is kind of like a sea monster. So he's really cute. This ghost I wanted to do, but I ran out of time. But I think I might do him anyway here soon. Because I really do like this book. If I can get this page to separate. Oh, it's not the page that I wanted anyway. I'm trying to find the page. I thought there was a really cute Valentine's Day page in here. But... I guess not. Here's another page that I did. I'm trying to go through because these aren't labeled, which I should have been more prepared to label these pages, but I just figured since Mateo's asleep, I would do this. Um, this glitter here is all stickles, and then I used Jelly Roll Metallics here and the gold accents. And then the rest is Prismacolored pencils. Hmm. Oh, maybe it was this one. I think it was this one that I wanted to do for like Valentine's Day kind of vibe. Yeah, I think it was that one. Okay. And that is... Pop manga, cute and creepy coloring book 
by Camellia de Erico. That is my, this is my sixth place book. Now for my fifth place book, this is a new purchase that I got. This is Chibi Girls coloring book. I have completed one in here. And then one more page is something that I did want to complete. Um, I did this one with multiple different mediums. So her skin is colored pencil. Um, there's stickles on here, which is these sparkly snowflakes. This is kind of like a pigment. Um, and then her hair is done with super tips as well as her jacket. And this was finished in November. So pretty. And then this is the one that I want to complete. If you guys would have seen my what's in my column book bag or what I want to complete in December. So here she is. She's so pretty. I think I might do some what is that called? Super tips. I'm blinking. Super tips or my fine liners. I think that would be so much fun. So this is a really fun page. And then you got somebody like Strawberry Shortcake. Honestly, it makes me really excited to start practicing coloring people. And this, oof, this page is so gorgeous. But yeah, I am excited because this is going to give me practice to start coloring with people. And there's another page in here that makes me really excited. It was the Space Girl page. Hold on. I'm just having such a hard time today, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, this one. There we go. This girl. This is the space girl that I want to do with the galaxy background. I think this is so much fun. You can obviously tell I'm going to be using a lot of glitter on this page. So I'm excited for this one. So this was my fifth place book. And now we are on to number four, which is one that my husband just gifted me. This is a million cute animals. Um, this is my Christmas present. Um, this one, and let me go get this one, the other one, because they are both tied for for place because they are both by the same author, which is Lulu Mayo. Okay, so these are both tied for fourth place. This one I bought, and then this one is a gift for my husband. I have not colored in this one yet, but I do plan to color um, some pages for like Valentine's Day. Um, I haven't even broken the spine yet out of this book, so I can start like coloring. This is one that I wanted to do during the winter time. These ones here. And then there was another one that I wanted to do during Valentine's Day. I thought this one would be so much fun to do during Valentine's Day, this page here to the left, just because they're in a cute little heart. And then there's heart trees and heart flowers. So I just thought this was really fun and really pretty. So I'm really excited to do this one. And then this one was also tied for fourth. This is a million mermaids and magical creatures to color from Lulu Mayo. And I have colored in this one. So there are quite a few pages I've done in this during um, the time that I got it this year. So there is this one, which I started off with. In the back is some ink tents and then Prismacolor pencils. And then on here, it is always so Derwent ink tents and some colored pencil. And then this one is done with Derwent Ink Tense Prismacolored Pencil and some Super Tips. Come on. This one it has to be my favorite one so far that I've done in here. This is done with Super Tips majorly. And then I also have some glossy accents on the clouds. 
and then stickles on all of their cute little horns and it looks like I also have some glitter gel pen for the stars so and their little trumpets so lots of detail going on in this page you guys can now see the stickles and stuff like that so yeah I really love this book I can't wait to do more in here as well so yeah that was a million mermaids and then third place you guys third place is 50 spring miniatures now I know this is a spring book but when you are going to see my completed pages there is a page in here that I decided to do like a Christmas kind of theme on here so I'm gonna skip that so that way it's not ruining my completed pages for you guys. Um, I do have quite a few pages I've done in here. I have this one, which is so beautiful. I have this fun B one. I love using my oh hoo hoo markers in these books, um, but I've kind of stopped. I have this one. I've done quite a few in here. This has to be my favorite one from Camellia Angelcova. I haven't gotten like the Christmas ones yet. Um, but I just really like these kind of pages because they're quick, fun, easy. Um, yeah. I did. That's the one. I love also how they come through on the back. There's the butterfly one. that one with the B. I like the details and like how I can add on like realistic like the flowers add on for that and the wings. This one is also really nice again done with Ohuhu markers. Then we have the duck one. This one was also really fun as well. Let me skip through because I think the other page is about to come up. Let me see if I can skip past it. Oop, it's almost here. Let's see if I can skip past it. So I have the Hello Spring page that I also did. For these kind of um, pages for the words, I always do like the stickles on here just because I think it's so much fun. So it is done with Ohuhu markers and then it's done with stickles. And then I also have another one done with the same thing, if I can flip. It is the Happy St. Patty's Day. So it's done with green background and gold stickles. And then I have Happy Easter. So out of all of the books that I have from Camellia Angelcova, this, um, the spring one is what I have the most finished out of here so again I'm really excited to do more in this book okay now second place um I'm kind of torn between the two but for this year I think my second I'm like debating back and forth but I do no. Yeah, this is going to be my second place one. All right. So this is my second place page. Um, I can show you a sneak peek, something that'll be shown to you guys in December because you guys would have already probably seen me working on it from my other one. So this is, first of all, this is 30 Days of Creativity by Johanna Basford. 
you get to draw, color, and discover your creative self. Um, so yeah, I really like the fact that you can draw in here for people who are still new to drawing, and but yet you can color in here as well. Um, cause there are a bunch of pages you can literally just sit through and color. So this book is so fun. I really like this book just for like pretty much both. It just seems so much fun and inspiring. Every child is an artist. I love that. So, like, with these hearts, that would be a perfect page for, like, Valentine's Day, um, that kind of month. But, yeah, this is most definitely a page I would like to do in here, is this fun food page. And then, yeah, there's just some really pretty flowers. So, I really do enjoy this book. Let me take my pages out and then I finished this one with pretty much all Prismacolor pencils except for some details right here and here with some jelly roll metallics so this is my second place book I even this detailing on the inside is so fun and so pretty so this is my second place one. Um, it was hard to choose which one I wanted to do for first place, but this one is a lot more colored in than my 30 Days of Creativity. And it is Worlds of Wonder. Um, I love Johanna Bassard's books. And to me, it's always my happy place and my safe place to color a Johanna page whenever I'm feeling like super stressed and all that fun stuff. Um, so I do have some in here. This is one that I wanted to color, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. And I can't find my sharpener since we moved. Um, so I can take you through and show you all of the wonderful fun pages I have completed in here. There's still a bunch for me to do in this book, which I have never finished any one of my Johanna pages, like, books before. Come on, book. Calm down. So, I believe there are some completed pages in here. There's some whips in here. Like, there's two whips in here. So, I'm guessing that's my first... One, well, here's my whip that I could show you guys. So much fun. There's three whips, I guess. One with the confetti down at the bottom. And then I finished this double page spread at different times. This is the garden page. And then this is done with ink tints in the background and then Prismacolors and a little bit of gel pen on here. Um, yeah, that's one of the pages. This one was done with ink tints background and Prismacolors as well as some stickles where you see the glitter. And my page, I didn't think of putting a person like a thing to separate it and this page got all over this side so unfortunately that's something that's happened it's fixable since it is going to be colored over but not at this moment um there's this page this is the first page that i completed when i got the book um there is a glitter pen on the border and then this is done with prism colors this page looks like it would be fun to do so there is another one i believe that i wanted to show you guys this is a whip um this was when she was doing her competition i never finished it because i believe it was like the second to last day that i started it but 
that's fine. And then I do have this beautiful page. Um, this is done with gel pen. Um, the corners. This is also done with Prismacolored pencils. And yeah, I really like how this page turned out. It's so bright, so vibrant, so colorful, and I'm obsessed. And then I also have this page. This was done with more colored pencils, the Prismas, and then the middle star is stickles, and then I do have some glossy accents on the ladybugs to make them look like, kind of like they're real little ladybugs. So I do really liked the color story for this palette and the way that it turned out. And then I completed this one as well. This has stickles on the border, and then it's done with Prismacolor pencils and stickles inside of the stars. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my top 10 books that I purchased in 2021. Um, let me know what your guys' favorite books are, because I would most definitely... Um, be intrigued to hear what your guys' favorites are and maybe I'll pick them up and try them out in 2022 and they can be my favorites. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you guys like the coloring book videos and just feel free to add a comment if you have any video suggestions you would like. So bye guys!